It isn't an answer we should be looking for tonight. That's kind of automatic, but it's a understanding that we need to study for. An understanding uh, is best approached if there's a feeling behind it. You would recognize it from a coach using the word if there's passion behind it. It's much easier to get an A in advanced physics if you're passionate about physics and what you can do with it. Uh, elections have built in limitations. They're, 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 they're not automatically the best thing for a village or a town yeah. or a state or a nation. That They're not necessarily bad. They're just one element of many elements that come into play. Now we have done everything we can um, for today um, and for this election. Um, now we should put, continue to, and remember to continue put our energy for tomorrow and what's happening from now on. Um, so we are even better prepared for everything that's to come. I just want to say that I was really actually happy about how many people decided to vote um, for this election. I think that um, for what has been happening these this past year, a lot of people have become more civically engaged um, because of what has been happening. And um, I, I think that America as a whole needs to um, just continue with civic engagement. Nothing in this world, nothing in systems happen in one swoop. It's always a series of different strokes, a series of different shadings and different, um, different things that happen that kind of build up to what makes a system a system or what makes um, a result that result. Regardless of whose si who side or which candidate wins, there's still a lot of work we need to do. There's, just, there's still a lot of things that we can do to better ourselves or to put back into our communities. We still have work to do. We still have battles to win. And we still have, you know, ground to take back for the people. So, I don't know. I guess I'm feeling really motivi like motivated right now, at least, over the course of tonight. I know I've been next to my mom for most of the night. I don't know. She's been a little bit worried. But I'm trying to keep that hope alive, I guess. Because I know that we are all still here. And no matter what happens, we're all going to get to work. So that's what's keeping me going. I, I really do believe fundamentally we have a lot to be hopeful for. And um, the outcomes of the election are going to continue to point to some of the really, really deep maladies of the way this country is structured. And that does give really exciting opportunities for growth and change and compassion and, and forward movement. And we should think about our brothers and sisters in the rest of the world tonight who are as directly affected by the outcome of our election as we are, if not more so in many respects, because they're in the minority. We are in the majority and we have a lot of work to do. We should not think of um, the election as the end of the road. We, can, we should think of the election as a way to build new paths because uh, it's not just one event. It just it's an event that connects to many different future events or like ways that could possibly happen in the future. We need to keep hope alive and continue to look forward to the future and to know that things don't end here. Um and and to Keep that hope alive through doing work and getting out, and getting out there and doing some, doing something, anything, um, and to really radiate that energy, to radiate that hope um, through our actions, so it can, so it can spread to other people around us. Um, and when people, when the people around us are feeling hopeless, then it's important that we 
don't let our emotions sway us. Um, that we don't let the emotions control what we do, and instead we use that and utilize it to um, help us, help fuel us to do the work that we need to do. Thanks to everyone for uh, sharing tonight. Uh, we've had uh, many words of wisdom. I think we need to trust each other and believe each other uh, because your words are on the right side of history. Mm-hmm. Your heart is on the right path towards a better future. And your mind is a great headlight. Uh, I'm very, very proud of each and every one of you, and thank you for uh, sharing uh, with us because it lifts everyone's spirits mm-hmm. up.